Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, one of the essential doctrines, in fact, the very first essential doctrine that we teach here at Calvary is that we believe the Bible is the inerrant, inspired word of God that tells us what to believe and how to live. So we want all of us to listen to God's word and obviously read and apply it to our lives because then God will change your life. But um, that means in reality that money, possessions, wealth, debt, stewardship, all those topics related to economics are mentioned over, get this, 2,000 times in the Bible. <laughs> 2,000 times God speaks into our financial reality. Uh, isn't that amazing? And we all think it's just about love and forgiveness and serving, right? So 2 Corinthians chapters 8 and 9 is a passage about money and generosity. Uh, it's all one continuous thought through those two, so I'd encourage you to read it, uh, maybe read it today. Uh, we're just going to look at one verse in there. But the, the thing is, the Apostle Paul is collecting an offering for the church in Jerusalem. They're being persecuted, they've lost their jobs, they've lost their livelihoods, and so he's going around to the churches in uh, uh, Greece and Asia Minor, and he's trying to collect an offering for those churches that sent him out originally. So he's wanting to bless the people and said, hey, you guys are blessed because someone came here and preached the gospel that came from them. Let's, let's bless them in return. And he specifically challenges people to be generous from what God has given you. Uh, 2 Corinthians 8, 12 says, for if the readiness is there, so if you're ready, if the readiness is there, uh, it is acceptable according to what a person has, not according to what he does not have. Now, again, he's talking about giving. So he says, if you're ready to give, then give out of what you have, not out of what you don't have. He goes on to actually say, I, if you lack, I don't want you to lack more so that they can be uh, comfortable. So, uh, so be generous from what God has given you. Uh, what that means is if you have nothing, God expects you to give nothing. If you have an abundance, God expects you to give abundantly. Uh, this verse matters to a lot of people in a lot of different ways. So if you've lost your job and your income is zero, guess what your tithe is on zero? Can you do the math? It's zero. Okay, so it's zero. It's nothing. If, I've had people go, oh, I feel so guilty because I can't give. I go, look, if you're not making any money, then you can't, you're not expected to give any money. That, that's just reality. On the other hand, uh, it matters because uh, if God has blessed you and blessed you and blessed you and you look at all that you have, then God expects you to be crazy generous. Not just a little bit generous, but crazy generous. You see, this verse isn't an excuse to be selfish or cheap in any way, shape, or form. It, it, it's a realistic way to say what Jesus has already said. In Luke 12, he said, to whom much is given, much is required, or to whom much is given, much is expected. So I, help, I hope this helps you understand the whole generosity principle that if you're broke and you don't have any money, uh, God expects you to learn how to manage money better, but he doesn't expect you to be crazy generous. But if you're, you know, like if you're blessed financially, then God does expect you to bless others. So I hope that helps, and I hope you have a great, great day.